a new alliance. Russia and North Korea join forces. This marks a significant shift in global geopolitics. Russia and North Korea have signed a new agreement. It's a military pact that has far-reaching implications. This means they promise to help each other if one is attacked. Such a commitment strengthens their military ties. The pact was signed by Vladimir Putin, the leader of Russia. His signature signifies Russia's dedication to this alliance. This shows that the two countries are becoming closer allies. Their discussions indicate a deepening of their strategic partnership. Many countries are watching this new partnership closely. The international community is keenly observing the developments. It comes at a time when the world is on edge. Global tensions are high, and this alliance adds another layer of complexity. The agreement is a big deal. It has the potential to shift the balance of power in the region. It shows that Russia and North Korea are working together. Joint military exercises are a clear sign of their cooperation. They both feel threatened by the West. This sense of threat has driven them to form a united front. The West includes the United States and its allies. NATO's presence in the region is a significant factor. Russia and North Korea want to push back against Western power. They see this alliance as a way to counterbalance Western influence. The pact is a way to do that. It formalizes their intentions and sets the stage for future cooperation. This new alliance has gotten mixed reactions. Some countries are supportive, while others are wary. Some think it's mostly symbolic. They believe it won't have a significant impact on global politics. They don't think it will change much. Others are worried. They fear it could escalate tensions further. They think it could make the world less safe. The potential for increased conflict is a major concern for many. The treaty is called a Comprehensive Strategic Partnership Treaty. This document is a significant milestone in international relations. It's a long name, but the idea is simple. The essence of the treaty is mutual support and cooperation. If one country is attacked, the other will help. This mutual defense clause is a cornerstone of their alliance. This is like a promise between friends. Just as friends stand by each other in times of need, these countries pledge their support. The treaty says that the help must be immediate. There is no room for hesitation when it comes to defence. This shows that they are serious about defending each other. Their commitment is evident in their military readiness. But the treaty is about more than just fighting. It encompasses various aspects of bilateral relations. It also says that the countries will respect each other. Mutual respect is fundamental to their partnership. They won't try to control each other. Sovereignty and independence are key principles, and they will work together in other areas. Cooperation extends beyond military matters. This includes things like trade and culture. Economic and cultural exchanges are vital components. This agreement didn't happen overnight. It is the result of extensive discussions and negotiations. Russia and North Korea talked about it for a long time. Numerous sessions were held to finalize the details. Their leaders agreed on the terms. The signing ceremony marked the culmination of their efforts. Then, their governments approved it. Legislative bodies in both countries gave their consent. This shows that both countries are committed to the partnership. Joint exercises and public statements reinforce their alliance. They want the world to know they are a team. Their unity is a message to the international community. This pact is a big deal for the world. 
it could change the balance of power. Russia and North Korea are both powerful countries. They have strong militaries, and they are both willing to challenge the United States. The pact could make both countries bolder. They might take more risks. They might feel like they can get away with more. This could lead to more tension, especially in Asia. The pact could also make it harder to stop North Korea from building nuclear weapons. Russia might not support sanctions against North Korea anymore. They might even help North Korea get the materials they need. The United States is not happy about this pact. The recent agreement between Russia and North Korea has raised significant concerns in Washington. They see it as a dangerous development that could destabilize the already fragile geopolitical landscape. The US thinks Russia and North Korea are breaking the rules of international diplomacy and security. They are worried about what this means for the world, especially in terms of global peace and security. The US has warned Russia and North Korea in no uncertain terms. They have said there will be consequences if they don't back down from this agreement. These consequences could include severe economic sanctions that would impact both nations' economies. The US might also send more troops to the region to bolster their presence and show their commitment. They want to show Russia and North Korea that they are serious about maintaining international order. The US is especially worried about North Korea helping Russia in the ongoing war in Ukraine, which could escalate the conflict. They don't want the war to get bigger and more destructive, potentially drawing in more countries. And they don't want North Korea to get involved in a way that could lead to a broader military confrontation. Section 5. North Korean troops on the move. There are reports that North Korea is sending troops to Russia. This has made the United States and its allies very nervous. They are worried that North Korea is going to help Russia fight in Ukraine. The reports say that thousands of North Korean soldiers have been sent to Russia. They are said to be in the Kursk region. This region is close to Ukraine. The United States thinks these troops will help Russia in the war. Russia and North Korea deny these reports. They say that they are not sending troops to Ukraine. But the United States does not believe them. Section 6. Technology transfer. A worrying possibility. The United States is also worried about technology transfer. This is when one country gives another country technology. The US is worried that Russia will give North Korea military technology. North Korea wants to build better weapons. They want to be able to hit the United States with a nuclear missile. Russia has the technology to help them do this. The United States is very worried that this will happen. The US has tried to stop other countries from giving North Korea technology. But it's hard to stop Russia. Russia is a powerful country and they don't care what the United States thinks. Section 7, Northeast Asia on edge. The pact has made countries in Northeast Asia nervous. They are worried about what it means for them. They are worried about North Korea. South Korea and Japan are particularly worried. They are close allies of the United States and they are both within range of North Korean missiles. They are worried that North Korea will attack them. The pact could also make it harder to get North Korea to give up its nuclear weapons. North Korea might feel stronger now that it has Russia's support. They might be less willing to negotiate. Section 8. A changing world order. The pact is a sign of the times. The world is changing. The United States is not as powerful as it used to be. 
Other countries are challenging the United States. Russia and China are working together more closely. They are both challenging the United States. This is leading to a more multipolar world. In a multipolar world, power is more spread out. There is no one superpower. The United States is going to have to adapt to this new world. They can't boss other countries around anymore. They are going to have to work with other countries, even if they don't always agree. Section 9. Conclusion. The future of the pact. The pact between Russia and North Korea is a big deal. It could have a major impact on the world. It is still too early to say what will happen, but it is something that we need to watch closely. The pact could make the world more dangerous. It could lead to more conflict, or it could be a way for Russia and North Korea to protect themselves from the West. Only time will tell.